there's some rumors that he was about the scandal from the beginning, which is totally wrong because he was about a million. Usually in former years, the, if the first one coughed, he would have left the stage and not come back again. He did that several times in the in the in the in the sixties. So uh, he he was known as somebody who doesn't give any tolerance to the audience. He's the boss. They paid. They shall listen. That's their job. They don't have any rights once he's on stage. Kinski was a self-made uh, artist. He became. He, he he spoke in front of millions of people in Germany before he had his first film role. That means he was quite famous by. He delivered Villon, the poet, the poems of Villon was the start of. He delivered that in front of five to ten thousand people, day by day. And he was standing in front of the stage. I mean, for a reading, 2,000 is actually the limit, you know. And he managed to have in the 60s, in, in the late 50s, to have five to 10,000 people. And it was, the press was, was, was saying that he delivered his, his, his words like machine gun to the audience. And he was quite famous. I mean, in 1960, he spoke in front of 80,000 people in Vienna, Bertolt Brecht. So he was famous as a reciter, and the people that came, it was his comeback. Most of the people that came, came because they wanted to have the chance to see Kinski. If you've seen the film, this specific uh, documentary is, the speciality of that documentary is that it doesn't comment the whole thing at all. No, I don't think so. No, there is no angle to, to comment it. Of course, of course, if you to fill in the gaps, we use the comments of 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 of, of Kinski's book to to give his inner view. But besides of that, it's actually it's actually quite neutral. Uh, it's the first time you see him not being a boss. You, you see him unprotected. That's something you've never seen of Kinski. So you can say, hey, I did this documentary to make him weaker. That could be a comment too. But I actually only used the footage because you, you shouldn't forget, I didn't film the material. That means I couldn't put a comment in the position. Do I film him from below or from, from, from uh, you know? I just edited it. So that's why I feel very free of, of, of commenting the thing. I just used the material and tried to resurrect, to restore the event to make it, to, to remember people that a, a strange thing like that once happened and that it destroyed a career. Because playing with fire can have incredible uh, uh, chain reactions. And I think he's quite unique. He's quite unique because he... The, the funny thing with him is because he started under his own rights, he always chose at the beginning films in, the, uh, in theater and in films the bizarre roles that allowed him to overact. If he would do his overacting in a regular film, he would look like a clown. So we did a, a good job in, 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 in getting him in resurrecting him.